White Sox hosting the A's. The A's are minus 185 on the money line. The White Sox are plus 150. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The A's laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 115, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two runs or more. And the White Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 105, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. If they lose by one run, you win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. The weather is supposed to be 83 degrees, 9 mile an hour winds blowing in and no rain and i'm sure if you're a white Sox fan you're looking forward to football season with caleb williams and the bears and if you're an a's fan i don't know if you're still pulling for the raiders because you know they 86 themselves out of town but we'll see sears pitched once against the white Sox this year seven innings one run one earn they won five one he struck out five burke did not pitch against the a's either last year or this year head to head the A's are 6-4. and four. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line, and the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. and three. There have been three one-run games in their last 10. The under is 6-4, and four, and the under at 8.5 runs is 6-4, and four, and the White Sox got their one every 12 games or 10-game victory today that they beat the A's. The A's are 2-3 and three in Sears' last five starts. Six innings pitched, six hits, 2.8 runs, 2.4 of which were earned, 4.4 strikeouts, 1.2 walks, 0.8 home runs, 93.6 pitches per game, and 16.3 pitches per inning. And Burke hasn't started yet. As you can see, three innings pitched, it was a relief. So we'll see how this game turns out for him. For the A's, they're 3-1 and one in their last... They're 2-2 two and two in their last four. Didn't update the game today. Nine runs, nine runs two runs, and then 13 runs. Five runs in a win, three runs in a loss, two runs in a win, and then six runs in a loss. And the White Sox snapped their three-game or four-game losing streak. Five runs, 10 runs, two runs, 13 runs. Shut out in a loss, four runs in a loss, shut out in a loss, and then seven runs in a win. And I don't imagine they're going to have that same kind of success against Sears. I'm going to take the A's with the money line. I will take the A's laying the runs, and I'm going under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.